Hello everyone. Today I have an acrylic painting time lapse for you, featuring a somewhat spooky concept of a drippy, surreal skull with one eye blooming from inside of a drippy flower. I've been really feeling the drippy effect lately. Um, since Halloween is just around the corner, I was inspired to paint something a little bit darker in theme, but I also wanted to keep the colors bright and cheerful as sort of an interesting element of contrast between a darker, maybe more gory theme, but having pleasant and happy colors. I just thought it would be a really interesting pair. Oh, also, I uploaded an in-depth 30-minute tutorial video to my Patreon page. It walks you through each step of how I created this piece using only four colors, including footage of the beginning preparation process, all available only on my Patreon. And there's also a layer-by-layer -layer process photo collage labeled with information about each layer's drying time. You can find these and hundreds of hours of exclusive Patreon tutorials at patreon.com slash happydartist. Okay, back to the painting. I honestly can't even remember the last time I painted using acrylic on canvas. It was probably over six years ago, if I have to guess. And this piece definitely reminded me of why I stayed away from this combination for so long. I'm not intending on criticizing acrylics or artists who work with acrylics in any way. Um, in fact, I think this experience gave me a newfound admiration and appreciation for acrylics and a newfound respect for the artists who can work with this very challenging medium. I think I'm even more impressed now than ever by artists who can create beautiful, vivid paintings using acrylics because for me, it was a struggle. I think it's safe to say that the journey of creating this painting was a constant uphill battle. And I never expected to have such a hard time jumping back into acrylics because I actually started out painting with acrylics before I ever even touched oils. And when I first made the transition from only drawing to trying out painting for the first time, I presumed acrylics and watercolors would be easier to work with because oils had such an intimidating reputation. And also I was fairly young, I think I was in my teens, and water-based paint just seemed like a lot more accessible and easier to learn, uh, especially after I made a few very unsuccessful attempts at following Bob Ross oil painting tutorials, um, I decided to just ramp up with water-based paint since I knew so little about painting in general. And then over the years, as I grew older and also with the introduction of social media and therefore easier access to things like YouTube tutorials, I revisited oils again and just completely fell in love with them, especially when I started painting portraits with oils. So gradually I just used other mediums less and less. And I also discovered wood and hardboard panels as a preferred alternative to canvases because I always struggled with the woven fabric texture of canvases. And I definitely preferred the smoother finish of um, wood or hardboard panels. So over the years, oil painting on panels became kind of my go-to set of tools to work with. And I guess I just wasn't prepared for how much muscle memory I had lost when it came to using acrylics on canvas again. And I was extremely rusty when it came to remembering how to handle a paint and a painting surface that were both so different from what I was already familiar with. The two biggest differences I found between acrylics and oils were the consistency of the paint and also the drying time. Both factors kind of influence each other, especially when it comes to just applying or smearing the paint onto the surface. Because oils dry slowly, they retain their oily consistency for much longer. Oils kind of feel like melted butter, which makes it very easy to spread, especially when painting on a smooth surface like a wood panel or hardboard panel. Even with a more fussy surface like canvas, I was used to the ease with which oils could fill up all of the little nooks and crannies of the woven fabric texture. Blending with oils is a breeze, but acrylics on the other hand, 
acrylics lose their viscosity a lot earlier on, making it hard to blend or smooth out the canvas texture. I tried using a gel medium to slow the drying time and give the acrylic paint some more density, but it didn't seem to help me much since I guess I'm just still a bit out of practice. The thing that frustrated me the most was not being able to blend smoothly. And the second I laid down a dark color over a lighter area, I would see little gaps in the coverage where the color underneath would show up in little specks because the paint would only touch certain parts of the fabric texture and would not fill up the other parts. So I couldn't just press and spread the paint onto the canvas like I did with oils because the paint would become too dry to work with. And I felt like normal blending techniques that were fairly straightforward with oils ended up taking me exponentially more time to render with acrylics. This could also be attributed to my own rigid impulse to have everything blended perfectly smoothly, which I admit at times is more of a burden than a blessing. I've been trying to learn to be more flexible and adaptable with my work and not always invest so much time into perfecting little details that no one will even notice especially with the fast pace of social media. It will just keep getting more and more difficult to keep up a good pace of finishing pieces if I'm just constantly repainting things that ultimately don't add much to the piece. Anyway, I digress, but other than the blending and the fussy canvas texture, I also struggled with color mixing. Normally with oils, I could use the same palette of paint for a few days due to their slow drying nature. I usually would pre-mix the skin tones and some other major colors and then just reuse them for as long as I need. But with acrylics, I found myself having to remix colors pretty much every few minutes due to the extremely fast drying time. This was super frustrating since I forced myself to use a limited palette of four colors, so I pretty much had to hand mix every single color I needed and rarely got to just take a shortcut with using paint straight out of the tube. However, the extra time devoted to color mixing was somewhat mitigated by the fast drying layers. I could get a lot more done per sitting because each layer would dry after, I don't know, I would say at most an hour, and I got to finish this painting in only a couple of sittings. If I had unlimited energy or just didn't stop myself from chugging coffee, I could have probably worked nonstop and finished this in one day if I really wanted to. But if I had to use oils to try to paint the exact same piece, it definitely would have taken me well over a week because even if I did have all the energy in the world, I still would have had to pause and wait for each layer to dry before I could build more on top of it. So overall, even though I did struggle with getting acclimated to acrylics on canvas again, I do have to admit that there are still some strengths in acrylics that make it a lot faster and easier to work with than oils, even though ultimately I still think my one true love, my favorite medium is and always will be oils. But overall, despite the hardships, I'm still really glad I pushed through and completed my vision for this piece. I felt like I took a long roundabout way to get to the end of this acrylic painting journey, but I learned so much on the way. And I know I sound like a broken record because I say this all the time, but the struggles and mistakes really do strengthen us as artists in the long run. And once we can identify the areas that truly test and challenge us, the process of overcoming these hurdles can be truly rewarding. Well, that about wraps up today's video. Thank you all so much for spending this time with me and sharing in my experiments with all these different mediums. If you're interested in adopting this spooky, fun, Halloween-themed piece, I do have the original and fine art prints available in my shop at happyd-artist.com. And if you're interested in learning more about how to paint and draw, I have lots of art educational content on my Patreon page, including exclusive video tutorials, step-by-step -step photo tutorials, live streams, podcasts, and even surprise art gift boxes, all available at patreon.com slash happydartist. I'd love to have you join my Patreon family. 
Also, if you want to check out more artworks, works in progress, and just random daily artist adventures, feel free to check out my Instagram and you can follow me at the handle at happydartist. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!